focus on history today, monumental for many. Today marks the 75th anniversary of the launch of the Battle of Iwo Jima. And the 36-day World War II fight was one of the bloodiest in U.S. military history. Skylar Henry was in Washington as veterans and those loved ones of those who served honored the occasion. My father was uh, one of those uh, young men who hit that beach, so uh, for me it's a very personal experience. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark Milley, honored the past and spoke of lessons learned at a ceremony to mark the 75-year anniversary of the battle for Iwo Jima at the World War II Memorial. Let us resolve that we're not going to ever have another great power war because the slaughter that it involves is beyond the imagination. Afterwards, Millie, flanked by World War II veterans, laid a wreath. There are not many of us left, apparently. 97-year-old Ira Rigger, the only Iwo Jima veteran there, served in the Naval Construction Battalion called the Seabees. And the fact that I didn't get shot when people were aiming at me makes me feel very fortunate. The bloody 36-day battle for the tiny Japanese island was a strategic victory for U.S. forces as a launching point for future attacks in the Pacific. Five days into the fight, Marines raised a flag atop a captured mountain. It became a Pulitzer Prize-winning photograph. That iconic image is now enshrined here at this Marine Corps memorial just outside of Washington. Nearly 7,000 Marines died in the Battle of Iwo Jima. It's a part of our family. Danny Shobie's father, Marine Julian McBee Shobie, fought on Iwo Jima. Uh, my father ran into his brother on Iwo Jima. They said to each other on the, on the field telephone, we'll hope to see you back home. The brothers returned and passed on the lessons of service to their family and along with those who served with them to the nation. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington. In addition to those killed, nearly 20,000 U.S. service members were wounded during the battle of Iwo Jima. And here at 12 News, we've done many stories on the battle of Iwo Jima over the years. Head over to our website, WJTV.com, and search Iwo Jima in the top right-hand corner of your screen. There you'll see a comprehensive list of stories.